Ouch! That's another hole in the road. How do you make these roads so smooth? Like, yeah, how do you make these model roads smooth like this? Like, how do you get to this with just this? Like, like how? How? How do you do it? Like, yeah, like uh, about 85% of model railroad scenery things, um, I pretty much failed at trying to do one myself. Uh, on my so-called layout section, originally this was supposed to be a water feature, like a river. But then I realized uh, it, it wouldn't look very realistic because it's a flat board. You know, you kind of need an elevation difference to put in a water feature. So I decided to, you know, just put like a road feature instead. Nothing too special, just like a road, you know, general farm road. The road from Steamroller is a great example. Uh, obviously not right next to the tracks, but you know, something where I can, you know, put a barbed wire fence on. You know, give it some countryside aesthetic. So the thing a lot of hobbyists use to create roads on layouts is this thing called Smooth It from Woodland Scenics. Basically what it is is some sort of plaster-like thing you mix up and then you pave it. Thing is though, how they show it on the tutorial videos, I don't know how the heck they get it so smooth. Like, look at this. Anyway, here's a video of me trying to build a road and failing miserable at it. Not a model railroad, a model railroad road. Model railway road, like, ah, you get the idea. Most of these road building kits come with this sort of a uh, 3D tape. I wasn't able to find any, but I did find the styrofoam tape at a local craft store, and there was a that using this was a bit of a mistake, as you'll see later. This stuff basically acts as the seal to get the straight edge. Here's me just putting it on. This right here is the Woodland Scenic Smooth It product, uh, which I got on Amazon. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I assume it's some sort of plaster mix. Uh, I wouldn't recommend just using regular plaster Paris. Anyway, you just mix it up with water according to the instructions, and make sure you get the right ratio. Then you just pour it onto the section. Um, it doesn't look like there's a specific way to do this, but... Uh, yeah, don't put too much on, because then you'll get excess, but you don't need to cover the whole section. You'll smooth it out next. And that's what you do with this popsicle stick, or whatever straight object they provide in those kits. I don't know. And as you can see, um, we got a bit of a problem here. I don't know if I made the mix too chunky, or if there's air bubbles, but look at this. Like, gah! The tape is supposed to act like a barrier for the excess cement, but at the same time, I'm all, before it dries, I'm gonna just scrape this all off the edge, just so it doesn't get fused to the newspaper. And yeah, then you let it dry. And here, after it dried, you're supposed to peel the tape off. And here is where I realized this sort of tape was not the best choice. I don't know what happened, but I can only assume either it melted or it's just crappy tape. I mean, yeah, this is a bit of a problem. It's stuck to the board. Okay, now this next step is you're supposed to sand it to make it smooth. And I never really understood this, not just with this, but like, you know, painting models or stuff like that in general. Like, if you sand it, doesn't that ruin the texture? It was here that after a while, I noticed it started crumbling, you know, it falling off. So in the end, I decided to abort this attempt. And yeah, here I am basically tearing up the road. It was total shite, so I thought this was gonna be a no-go. But tearing it up was easier said than done. You know, sometimes the flakes just came right off, but other times they're just so fused in that you had to like you can see by this footage. Yeah, I completely screwed this whole project over. After intensely trying to get all the stuff off, which I never fully succeeded in any way, I decided to go this other method I found. Now this one is just paint, and normally I'm not really a fan of just painting roads on because, you know, it just doesn't look very good. In fact, I didn't even know it was only paint until I had opened it. But it does come with some neat tools, such as this ruler, and also this pin thing, which I think is for just scraping turf off of a turf mat or whatever, so I didn't really need to use it. 
It comes with two things of paint, each a separate color and one for bottom layer and top layer of asphalt. Anyway, it's just like painting a wall. You put masking tape on and then use this foam brush included to just, you know, paint it. It's not really paving, it's just painting on a road. And normally, I'm not really a fan of that because you can see the brush strokes. The first layer, however, actually looks really smooth, as you can see here. It was the second layer, though, where you could kind of start to see the brush strokes. I think the final product is... Uh, Alright, but definitely not what I was looking for. You know, it definitely looks like what it is, just painting on wood. I feel like what I might do is just put some gravel on it, or sand, you know, to make it more of a dirt road. And that would at least give it some more, uh, realism. Or, what might be easiest, if you can get the right size, is just buy a pre-made road, like this one. It has adhesive on the back, so you just stick it on. It's basically road tape. I mean, as it is, it's fine, um, but... Yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend this method unless you know exactly what you're doing. And here's Horace on his track. Um, as you can see, he has a new coach. Uh, this is just some N-scale, I think it's an Orient Express coach. And obviously, again, it doesn't match the scale, but Horace doesn't match any scale, it seems. Um, these are just two toy vehicles I found on sale at Target. Uh, one of them's a Ford... Mustang, the other's a steamroller. Yeah, as you can see some road rage here. Who do you think would win? The steamroller or the car? <laughs> I plan to use all these um, if I ever get started on these Horace shorts. Um, I feel like what I'm probably going to do for those is uh, use more temporary sets. You know, turf mat with temporary scenery, like I did with Haunted Henry. But but yeah, that's kind of just some updates on the, the, the layout. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this layout next. Uh, I'm thinking maybe the, you know, build the fence or even better, a stone wall against the road once I fix the road. And then just add some more, like, realistic scenery, you know, gravel, uh, rocks. Uh. So yeah, uh, those are just some updates on Horace and his layout. Um, keep tuned to see some more updates, and hopefully I'll be doing some actual narrative videos with him soon. Thanks for watching.